It's very easy to become a startup nowadays. Um, just because of you know, the technology that we have, you can sell online, you don't have to rent a store. It's very easy, but because of that, it means that everyone's trying to do it. So you've got a lot more competition to become a business now. And yeah. now you've got to stand out. You've got to be a cut above the rest. I'm Josh Shires, and I went to Oxford Brooks University uh, in Oxford. And um, I've just created my first product, Music Ace by Mouse. Mouse was actually a kind of a personal issue that I had. I, um, I generally got fed up of losing my headphones on the half an hour bus trip to my university. And uh, I thought, I'm studying engineering, why don't I do something about it? So um, I used the tools at hand, which happened to be SolidWorks, and started designing. My name is James Roberts. I went to Loughborough University and I graduated in product design and technology and at the moment I am a design innovationist and I have been doing this whole thing on SOLIDWORKS. My final year of university I came up and developed MUM which is an inflatable incubator made for the developing world and basically the main point of it is that instead of 30,000 30, pounds which is normal cost of incubators mine costs about 250. There are nearly all of the incubator benefited from SOLIDWORKS and CAD from the volume in actually containing the incubator in the outer shells to actually having to make sure that this could withstand a plane ride to Syria and maybe being dropped out of a plane from a care package. When I started using SolarWorks to create mouse, it, uh, it brings things to life. You know, you've got this thing in your head, this dream, and you start putting it onto a CAD program and creating a 3D model. You can really start to feel, oh wow, like, you know, this, is gonna, this could potentially be something. And also seeing the problems that emerge from it as well. So being able to revolve around the parts, um, the assemblies and section views. It all starts to, you know, be a great tool in problem solving. Right? It feels great seeing, seeing your model in there. I think that's one of the first sort of like um, adrenaline rushes. Nowadays, it's technology moves so fast and the market that we're, we're in moves incredibly fast. You know, um, a company will bring out a new phone every six months and you've got to be, you know, got to be uh, on, the, on the ball. Um, so I think being able to iterate quickly and design quickly um, is, is one of the biggest, biggest advantages. SolidWorks really helped inspire me in that I knew from the outset that I could actually achieve this in a CAD program. I didn't have that whole, oh no, I've got to go into CAD now, it's going to be horrible. Instead, it was more of a, a joy to use. There are two parts where I think SolidWorks really helped me. One of them was for all the attachments for the functional model, which is more of the 3D printing parts, and without those I couldn't have actually tested if it actually works, if it actually works as an incubator. The second was when I was making the shells to actually contain the inflatable body, I had to make sure that the volume inside was large enough to hold the inflatable piece, and SolidWorks could tell me instantly if that would work. One of the biggest challenges we had is the fact that you're making a protective case and it needs to fit someone else's product very well, you know, with a, a you know, very tight tolerance. And also the phone tolerance varies by, you know, 0.2 of a millimetre. So, you know, you've got to make something that compensates for that. Being able to take your model into a drawing in SolidWorks very rapidly and create tolerances for your manufacturer is, uh, is a great benefit. SolidWorks helped validate one of, uh, one of our biggest problems after our first production um, batch in that we were trying to create a snap feature and it's kind of a bit of a guessing game um, in my experience of, kind of how the plastics are going to warp and snap together. So I did a, a bit of FEA on a snap fit feature and kind of discovered that the distortions and the displacements were far bigger than anticipated. For me, it was the community of SolidWorks that really helped because there were things that I wasn't sure how to do. And so I'd research the community of, you know, I want to do this, how do I do this? And with SolidWorks, it's such a big community that I could, I, I, ideas were almost kind of um, inspired by it. So I'd be like, ah, I could design it like that. This guy's done this, this guy's done that. I could use, I could take that and use that sort of principle um, and technique. In, in the SOLIDWORKS software. 
Someone from Dyson actually looked around my university at the degree show and said to me, could you please enter the award? We like this project, it could fit in with us really well. And I was, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'll definitely do that. And then Sir James Dyson himself, who's one of my personal heroes, actually invited me down to his, his warehouse in Malmesbury. So I went down there. I was really nervous, shook his hands, like, oh, you, you're like, you know, kind of a inspiring person to me and showed him how it all works, took him throughout the whole thing and then he surprised me, just st stuck his hand out and said, well done James, you've won it and it just blew me away. <laughs> and having someone like James Dyson say this product could actually do something great is a huge achievement and it's just given me so much credibility in the world. SolarWorks in school isn't just important for what me and Josh do in engineering and design. I had friends from all over the university wanting me to show them how to use SolarWorks, just in normal everyday lives. I mean, there's people trying to make their own things all the time at the moment. It's just a great tool, a great tool for a 3D world. Yeah, definitely. N no, no one likes theory. It's boring, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Seeing it in use. Yeah, great. exactly. It makes it faster and it's just more interesting for everybody. You engage in it, which is a big part of learning. I was going to say that when I felt that. 3D experience. <laughs>